Right, you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're taking a look at how to transfer your Windows 10 license key to a new computer. Now, if you've got a retail license key of Windows 10, then you can transfer it to a new PC. So let's go through what you need to do here. So let's go to the settings and update and security, then activation. And you can see here, update a product key is right here. So this is where you can put your product key in to activate it. You can see this version is already activated. So what I'm going to do is going to show you how to safely deactivate your version of Windows 10. So you can then use this key again. As long as it's a retail key, you should be okay. So let's go ahead and show you how to do it. So go down to the search box and type CMD and run this as administrator. And this should open up the command prompt box like so. Inside here, we're going to type a command to find out what type of key that we have, because it's important to know whether you've got a retail key or not. So type the command in that you see down the bottom. That will be SLMGR space dash DLI and then push enter. And then you should see this little box popping up saying Windows script host. And this will tell you whether you've got the retail channel, which is the key which is a retail license key, which you can use on another machine. As long as you're only using it on one machine at a time, you can safely deactivate this and transfer it to your brand new PC. If it says OEM underscore DM or volume underscore MAK, these keys cannot be transferred to another machine. So if you upgraded from a retail copy of Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 8.1, the Windows 10 license key will still have its retail rights carried over, but it can only be used a one-time transfer. If you upgraded from an OEM Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 license, and it was a pre-installed on a new computer as an OEM license, it cannot be transferred. If you have a full retail copy of Windows 10, you have the right to transfer it as many times as you want, but only on one PC at a time. These are the rules by Microsoft. You have to follow them. So here we have our machine again. What we need to do now is find our product key because we need to copy this product key down so we can use it on our new machine. So you'd need to get a piece of software to find your product key. I'm going to be using this piece of software here, Free PC Audit. It's a free piece of software you can use. There's many different ones out there. Just choose which one suits you. I'm going to quickly upload this to VirusTotal to show you that the uh, software does come up clean. There's no uh, problems with the software, just in case, because some of you people do uh, freak out when you don't know anything about software. So I just thought I'd make that clear to you. You can see it here. So I'm going to open this up and run this on my PC so I can get my license key and copy this down so I can use it to reactivate on another system. So inside the systems tab, you should see your Windows product key. Copy this key down. As long as it's a retail key, you can use this key to reactivate it on another system. It will have to be deactivated first on this PC. And to do that, what we're going to do is type this command, slmgr.vbs space forward slash upk. Do this command, push enter, and it will uh, deactivate your license key. So let me just push enter. You can see here, uninstalled product key successfully. So that's good. So that's now done. We can click OK here and finish this off. What we need to do is one more is to clean that key from the registry. So I'm just going to basically do this. So by typing slmgr.vbs space forward slash cpky. And then just push enter on the keyboard and it will clear that key from the registry as well. So just push enter here. Once that's done. And you can see here product key uh, from the registry is being cleared successfully. We can now take our key, which we've just backed up and go to our brand new PC. And you can go to that page where we went to settings, update and security, and then activation and put your key inside there and activate it or you can do it in command prompt if that's what you wish to do so let me show you how we can do it in command prompt just because we're inside here might as well show you how to do it inside here but you can do it via the windows uh, settings and activation area so type in this command here slmgr.vbs space forward slash 
IPK and then the product key and push enter and you should see it's now installed the product key successfully and uh, basically that should be now done so that's now installed and it should be activated so let's quickly go ahead and check to see whether our windows has been activated here so i'm going to go back into settings update and security and inside the activation area here you can now see our key has been activated again now if you wanted to put the product key in via this method you can use update product key uh, via that method there as well okay so let's just go back to command prompt to just check to see whether our key is installed in here and i'll just quickly do the first command that we did inside here which was the slmgr space dash dli and that's what we need to do here and you should now see our key has been installed properly and there we go we've got our key back in it's now activated so that's basically how you can transfer your windows 10 license to a new computer as long as you follow the steps in this video and you're using a retail license key then you should be able to deactivate it and then transfer it to a new computer and continue to use that key um, for the lifetime so it's pretty much that simple now of course oem keys and volume keys you can't use those keys and they can't be transferred i just want to say a big special thanks to all my youtube members who have joined my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk don't forget to leave a like on the video and also leave a comment down below of uh, what sort of videos you want to see and i'll do my best to make those videos for you thanks again for watching thanks for your continued support bye for now